Okay, so for this exercise, we are going to program a FX5U JPLC, um, and we're gonna set um, do a setup with an analog uh, input card, a channel, and then we're gonna demonstrate how to do basic configuration with this um, analog input card. So first step: start a new project, 5UJ. Um, as the PLC type and then for the programming language we'll use the function block slash LD um, formerly known as um, structured programming okay so let's just let it load right so the programming environment has been created uh, so this will be the programming area and um, the configuration will be done in the navigation window uh, pane so first things first let's establish communication with the plc so what we'll do is we click on connection destination connection okay so it will depend on what type of communication cable you have connecting to the PLC. It will be either one of these two. If it's a 5U, you will use this one. Um, or you can use this for your FX5UJ. Um, for our FX5UJ, we'll use the USB option. After you've set up your um, communication settings, always do a communication test ensuring that there is in fact a communication connection so that part is finished so the connection setup is done here back to the navigation so <clears throat> next step would be to add the analog card okay model configuration this will be our cpu if we click on the tabs here the pu list these are all the hardware cards that we can add to this plc so in this case we will add a not analog input because this is a four channel analog input we'll go to the multiple eight channel input okay so now it's connected um now this card needs to be initiated and paired to this plc okay so because as you can see it's not been added yet so how do you do that you right click and you go to parameters and you say fix so as soon as you say that it would create this card and in underneath the model information of this cpu okay so this part is done to see the address registers of this the devices of this card you can right click and you can register to the um, intelligent function module monitor and in here you can see all the address registers that is associated with this card here okay. so these the u is the number of the modules so if there's two or three modules we need two three and so on and uh, <clears throat> this g value here yeah, this is the buffer memory address so um, the addresses that's most popularly used um, in the practical applications for simple applications would be the would be the following um first of all if we go down here the digital output value so this would be the value that would be displayed in the plc programming environment so the physical analog signal would be the input and then the plc value which will be the output not the analog output the output of the, the digital system would be displayed here <coughs> for each channel okay furthermore um each channel needs to be enabled before it can be operational so 
we go down, I just want to see the enabling of each channel, which would be a bit flag. Um, let's see where they are. These are all alarms and um, scaling options, logging options, trigger options for each channel. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Digital operation. So, digital operation. So, these ones will be the enabling of the channel. So, zero would be disable, one would be an enable and then the analog values will be stored there in a digital range the resolution of the plc it will not show the output in voltages here it will not show the output in milliamps here the inputs it will be in a um, resolution range from 0 to 32,000 etc okay so this is how you would do that as for the configuration of this card, so you double click on this card here to open this window. Right, so let me just make some room here. 